guys, it is Cal, and for today's video, this is probably my most requested makeup tutorial I've ever put on my YouTube channel, so I'm really excited to get in this video. If you want to follow me, my Instagram is at Kelly Kaiser. But for today's tutorial, it's just going to be a really beautiful, warm, glowy, smoky eye. I've been doing this every single day, and any Instagram, any YouTube video, you guys all want me to show you guys this look. So without further ado, here we go. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, I got eyelash extensions. I am beyond obsessed. I think they are so beautiful. It's like my eyes are fluttering like fairies. I think it's that's the weirdest analogy. So I got them done today. I sat in the chair for two hours at Treat Yourself Studios. I'll link their Instagram down below. If you want yours to look like mine, you need to go to them. They're amazing. I got a full set of individuals put on and they were put on by Karen Medina. Her Instagram is kvm underscore lash extensions. So I'll link that all down below in the description box. And then I also dyed my hair a really bright white blonde. I just wanted some change. This is probably as much change as I'll ever do to my appearance, but I do love it. And yeah, enough small talk. So the first thing that I do when I do my makeup is I put chapstick on. And this is the Glam Glow Plump Rageous Gloss Lip Treatment. I'm obsessed. So it makes your eyes, it makes your lips, I mean, feel like they grow 10 sizes bigger, which is amazing. If I leave this on all the way throughout my makeup, my lips will be bigger by the end of this video, I promise you. So then I like to prime my face. I have been using this First Aid Beauty Fab. First Aid Beauty, I like that. Um, abbreviation. So this is the Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. Obsessed. Oh my gosh. I love this. Also the size is so nice. So I just do this and then I put it on my face. Oh, it's so cold. Okay, once that is all soaked in, we're ready to go in for our foundation. I use the Kat Von D Locket Foundation because it is cool toned, so it has no red or yellow or pink undertones, which I'm obsessed, and I use the shade Light 44 Cool on a damp beauty blender. This is my pink one, love it. I just do about one pump total for my whole face, then I just go in. I love this foundation because it's really matte, so if you don't want to set your whole face with translucent powder, you don't have to. Even though this is full coverage, depending on how strong your freckles are, if you have freckles, they can still kind of peek through sometimes and it's so cute. I'm putting foundation on my under eyes as well because for my everyday makeup look, I don't use um, under eye concealer every single day just because I feel like you don't need to unless you have really dark circles. That wasn't English. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I still set my under eyes because I did put foundation under there. And since this is a really matte foundation, you don't need to set your entire face, but if you want to, go right ahead. I kind of set places that I get dewy and then places where I don't like the feeling of foundation on my face. So to start off this look, I'm using the Mineral Illuminating Powder. We're going to go straight for the eyes. This is in the shade Candlelight from Laura Mercier. Best transition shade you could ever put on your face, no joke. So I just go in and dip in with a tapered blending brush. This is one from It Cosmetics. And I just tap off any excess. And what's really nice about this shade, it's so buildable. So you really don't have to... worry about being messy or precise. You guys can kind of see the warmth already come through. It's so beautiful. After that, we're going in with the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're using this shade, Red Ochre. Beautiful shade, and I'm just taking the Morphe E17 brush, looks like this, and I just lightly dip in, tap off any excess, and I'm only putting this on the inner corner and outer corner, and it creates this amazing dimension in the middle of my eye.
And then since we just put it on the outer corner and inner corner, I leave the middle hollow in a sense so that you could put on highlighter in the middle. So I'm using this sleek makeup palette and it's just this light pink shade right here. I just dip my finger in and apply it in the middle and it instantly makes it the most beautiful eyeshadow ever. Oh my gosh. And as you guys can see, it's already so glowy and so beautiful. So then I like to take my soft and gentle highlighter from MAC and I take this Sephora fan brush and I just run it over the rest of the eyes and it makes it even more prominent and more stunning. And then I just take the same color scheme on my under eyes. But for this transition shade, I like to go in with the burnt orange in this palette. If you end up choosing to put eyeshadow on your lower lash line, you're done with your eyes. And then I like to take the Glossier Boy Brow and I just put this through my eyebrows because it adds just the best color to them. This is one of the products I highly recommend. I used to use Benefits all the time, and then once I tried this, I was like, girl, obsessed. Now moving back to our face, since we need to add some dimension to it, I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. A lot of people use this to set their face, or if they don't want to wear foundation that day, they'll use it as an overall powder. I actually contour and bronze with it. I've hit pan. I need to finally buy the large one. But I'm just going in with this Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. And you guys will see what natural shadows are created on my face from this product. It's amazing. I'm done adding that to my face I just go in with my highlighter I'm using max soft and gentle best highlighter on the planet earth I love when a highlighter is a wet glowy look instead of a powdery so that's why I always choose max soft and gentle over all my other highlighters and I add it to my nose oh, my lip. now for lips I'm just taking off some of that lip plumper I had on earlier and I'm going in with this shade. It's called Cake from Glossier. It is a beautiful lipstick. Oh my gosh. So natural. And it shows out even better now that my lips aren't chapped or anything. You guys can just see that pigment on the bottom. Amazing. And my favorite thing I put on top of it is this. It is the Lip Maximizer Maximizer collagen active dior in the shade 006 it is their beige shade looks like this amazing packaging and they're just the perfect duo together it complements the eyeshadow so perfectly and once you do that we are done with the makeup look. I did not add mascara today just because I have eyelash extensions now and I don't really put a lot of mascara on my bottom lashes, but you can totally choose to if you wish. That is our completed look. It's just super glowy and warm and beautiful. I love the way this looks. I'm sure it will work with so many different skin tones. Hope you guys love this video. Please subscribe if you would like and give this video a thumbs up, but I love you guys. You're so amazing and I'm so fortunate to have such positive people supporting me and loving me all the time so i'll try and respond to all your guys comments down below i love you guys have an amazing day bye i paint my nails black i dye my hair a darker shade of brown